So in this video, I'm going to show you the second part of statistic which is group data. Kalau sebelum ni kita dah tengok ungroup data, but now we are going to look at group data. So basically the idea is, uh, group data ni macam gini lah. Kita ada ungroup data, data yang terabur seperti ini. Alright. So apa yang kita perlu buat ialah kita nak kelaskan dia. Kita nak letak dia dalam group. Let's say saya nak letak uh, range 51 until 60. So 51 until 60. From the set of data hanya ada satu. So ada satu. And then we we'll go to 61 until 70. Alright. So 61 until 70, kita ada satu, dua. So ada dua. And then we have 71 until 80. So ada 1, 2, 3, 4. So ada 4. And then we have uh, 81 until 90. So we have 1. Alright. So 91. Eh, sorry. 91 until 100, right? So, there are two data, right? Okay? Uh, something like this. So, inilah maksud group data. Kita telah meletakkan ungroup data tadi daripada ungroup data. Kita ubah dia jadi group data. Kita dah letak dia dalam kumpulan. So, group data. They have frequency for each interval. Kita ada interval, eh? Kita panggil selang. Okay. Baik. Uh, so now, uh, let's see the first example here. Uh, the following table shows the highs of students in your class. Okay, alright. So, bila you ada this set of data, uh, kalau boleh, you draw another table. Okay, dekat table ini, okay, dekat sini you letak class size. Okay, saya guna singkatan sajalah, you tulis full lah. This one is lower boundary. This one upper boundary. This one adalah data itu which is highs. Okay, highs. And then you ada number of students tadi kan. Alright, yang ni saya cari midpoint dahulu. Midpoint. And then, saya cari number of students tu, kita panggil dia this one sebagai frequency. Alright, this one frequency. This one, um, what we call that uh, cumulative frequency. Alright, cumulative frequency. Jadi saya cerita apa benda ni, kita isi dulu. And this one, uh, kita nak darab midpoint, darab dengan frequency. Okay, midpoint, darab dengan frequency. Okay, pertama sekali kita isi yang yang data yang diberi. 151 hingga 155. 156, alright, sorry. 156 hingga 160 161 165 166 170 171 175 So frekuensi dia kita isi dekat sini eh F ni 4, 7 ni Nama sini kan Okay 4, 7 5, 10, 3 Okay sekarang saya nak ajar awak Macam mana awak nak mengisi table yang lain Okay pertama sekali kita cari Apa boundary dan lower boundary Apa boundary dengan lower boundary ni Dia adalah sempadan Okay katakanlah ada 151 hingga 155 Untuk the next data 156 hingga 160 Apakah sempadan padan dekat sini. Maksudnya apakah nombor di antara dua ini? So, nombor di antara dua itu mestilah you tambah dua tu bahagi dua. So, you dapat 155.5. Okay. Ha, so, ataupun contoh yang senang, contoh antara tujuh dengan lapan. Apa nombor dia? 7.5. Sama macam So, in this case, 155.5 is the upper boundary. Right. Yang ini 160.5 165.5 170.5 175.5 Dekat sini pula, sebelum 151 ialah 150.5 Lepas tu, kita ada 155.5 0.5 160.5 and then we have 170.5 ok so to get the class size ok ingat class size formula dia upper boundary kita tolak dengan lower boundary so you tolak lah 155.5 tolak 150.5 so you dapat 5 tolak for each ada ya tak semestinya sama eh tak semestinya tapi kebanyakannya sama lah class size eh ha, 5 in this case ok semua 5 midpoint pula ialah you boleh tambah sama ada di uh, Upper limit dengan lower limit. Upper limit dengan lower limit ni maksudnya yang ini. This two, you tambah bagi dua. Ataupun you tambah upper boundary dengan lower boundary. You tambah dua itu. Okay, bila you tambah 151 tambah 155. Okay, bahagi dengan dua. You dapat 153. Yang ini 158. 163, 168, 173. Maksudnya apakah nombor di tengah-tengah ini? Itu make point. Alright. Uh, cumulative frequency pula. Okay, saya jawab macam mana. So, you pergi dengan 4. So, 4. Lepas tu, you tambah ke bawah. Tambah 7. 4 tambah 7 jadi 11. 11 tambah dengan 5 jadi 16. 16 tambah 10 jadi 26. 26 tambah 3 jadi 29. Ha, something like this. Okay. So, saya suka buat terus. Make point darab dengan uh, frequency. Sorry. So, you ambil 153 darab dengan frekuensi dia 4. Okay, darab dengan frekuensi means you have to multiply this two. Okay. So, you dapat 6, 1, 2. So, isi dekat sini uh, 6, 1, 2. Okay. Lepas tu, you ambil 1, 5, 8 darab dengan 7. Okay. 1, 5, 8 darab dengan 7. So, akan dapat 1, 1, 0, 6. And then, this two multiply. 1, 6, 3 darab dengan 5. Alright. So, you dapat 8, 1, 5. Next one, multiply this two. So, you akan dapat 1, 6, 8, 0. And then, multiply this two. 1, 7, 3 multiply by 3. And then, you get 5, 1, 9. Okay. So, what you have to do next is that you have to add this, uh, what do we call, uh, tambahlah semua frekuensi ni. Okay. Cuba you tambah. 4 tambah 7. Uh, sorry, 4 tambah 7, tambah dengan 5, tambah 10, tambah 3. Saya so, dapat 29 dekat sini, total. This one, total juga. Alright. 
Okey. 612 tambah 1106 tambah 815. Okey. Tambah dengan 1680 tambah 519. So, you dapat 4732. Alright. So, now we want to find mean, mode and median. Okey. Pertama sekali, bina table ini. Alright. Yang pertama, sekarang kita nak kira mean. Alright. So, calculate the mean. Tulis dahulu formula mean. Formula mean kata, so in this case, for group data, sum of fx over sum of f. Maksud dia, uh, kita hasil tambah sum of fx. Sebenarnya yang ini, sum of fx, yang ini. X tu ialah midpoint. Ini adalah frekuensi kita darab dia. Alright, this one, sum of f. Kita hasil tambah frekuensi kan? So, kita ambil 4, 7, 3, 2. Kita bahagi dengan 2, 9. Tak perlu tunjuk jalan kira dah sebab apa kita dah tunjuk dekat table ini. Is enough. Okay? So, now, you press your calculator. 4, 7, 3, 2. Bahagi dengan 29. So, you akan dapat 163.17. In this case, you are talking about height which is in cm. So, 163.17 cm. But now, alright, let's go to number 2. Let's say we want to calculate the median. So, to calculate the median, so, firstly, we have to find the position of median. To find position of median, ialah kita ambil summation of F ini, 29 ini, alright, kita bahagi dengan 2. Ha, kita nak tahu kedudukan dia, tak perlu tambah 1 eh, bahagi dengan 2. So, 29 bahagi dengan 2. 29 bahagi dengan 2, you dapat 14.5. Okay, so, you pun pergi dekat table you, alright. <coughs> Okay, you pergi dekat table, you pergi tengok dekat cumulative frequency. Kita nak cari 14.5. Okay, kita start dengan 4. 4, ada tak 14.5 tak sampai lagi eh. Maksudnya data daripada 1 hingga 4 dekat situ. Alright. Lepas tu, data 5 hingga 11. Ini, data 5 hingga 11 tak sampai lagi 14.5 kan. 16 dah lebih. Maksudnya dah lebih 14.5. Okay, maksudnya data 14.5 ialah berada dalam data ini. Kan. Therefore, we highlight the uh, that class. So, let me highlight that class. Okay, that one is called as median class. So, okay, saya tulis dahulu. Kita panggil dia sebagai median class. Sebab position of median which is 14.5 berada dalam ini. Okay. So now, median class alright. 14.5 kan? Alright. Itu baru menentukan median class. Okay. So now to find median, you have to use the formula. Okay. The formula is given by um, LM, lower boundary of median class, bahagi dengan summation of F, you bahagi dengan 2 tolak summation of F M minus 1 over bahagi dengan F of M. Lepas tu, you darab dengan class size. Okay. So, in this case, lower boundary of median class. So, you pergi tengok dekat ini. Lower boundary, of course, this one, right? So, lower boundary is 160.5. 160.5. That one is lower boundary. Plus, summation of F. Summation of F kita dah ada, which is 29. So, 29, kita bahagi dengan 2. You masukkan dalam formula sahaja. Summation of F M minus 1. Maksudnya, total uh, cumulative frequency before median class. Kalau yang ini adalah median class, cumulative frequency, this one cumulative frequency so B for it is actually 11 so sebenarnya kita tolak dengan 11 so tolak 11 you bahagi dengan FM ialah frequency of median class frequency of median class tengok dekat frequency frequency of median class is 5 so you isi dengan 5 darab dengan C C is the class size in this case class size is 5 ok so darab dengan 5 ok so you simplify Uh, so, you ambil 160.5 tambah dengan 29, you bahagi dengan 2. Lepas tu, you tolak 11, ok. So, you dapat 3.5 kan, ok. 3.5 per 5 darab dengan 5, ok. So, in this case, you akan dapat 160.5 tambah dengan 3.5 sebenarnya, ok. So, 164 cm. So, your answer is 164 cm. Ok, that one is median. Data di tengah-tengah ialah 164. Macam mana nak tahu jawapan you betul? Make sure that this 164 should be in this group. 164 berada dalam lingkungan ini. Kalau lah kita katakanlah dapat 166, salah dah lah sebab 166 out, is out of this interval. Dia mesti berada dalam interval ini. So, nilai dia boleh jadi 161 hingga 165 sahaja. Kalau lebih atau kurang, salah jawapan you. Ok, ada salah jalan? Kerja. Alright, I'm going to show you how to find the, uh, what we call that um, mode. Alright, mode ialah frequency paling banyak kan alright so yang ketiga we want to find the mode so firstly we have to find the model class to find the model class kita kena tengok frekuensi paling banyak from this frekuensi punya kolom frekuensi paling banyak ialah yang ini 10 so that one should be your model class ok saya highlight guna warna biru katakanlah right so this I highlight using blue colour that one is model class means ni class dia adalah 166 until 170 that one is your model class so to find the mode we have to use the formula alright to find the mode the formula is given by L of model class plus alright delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2 multiplied by class size. 
What is delta 1? Okay, we have to find delta 1 first. Delta 1 is, okay, delta 1 is actually the frequency of model class. You subtract with the frequency before model class. Okay, now I'm using this color. Okay, this is model uh, frequency of model class. We have to subtract the one that before it. So, 10 minus 5. So, in this case, 10 minus 5 will get 5. But then, we want to find delta 2. The formula is actually the frequency of the model class, which is this one. Subtract the one that it's after it. So, 10 minus 3. So, 10 minus 3 is given by 7, right? So, you will have... Okay. Uh, what do we call that? Uh, lower boundary of model class. Okay, to find the lower boundary, I can look at this. is model class. So, the lower boundary is given by 165.5. 165.5 plus delta 1 has been calculated here. 5 plus 5 plus delta 2 is 7. Alright? Multiply by C. C is actually class size of the model class which is given by 5. Alright? So, you multiply by 5. So, simplify the one in the bracket first. 165.5 over plus 5 over 12. Okay? Multiply by 5. Okay. So, 5 over 12. Okay. So, plus 165.5. So, your answer will be 167.58 centimeter. So, this is your answer. So, how to check whether your answer is correct or not? So, 167.58 should be between this value. Okay, kalau dapat kurang atau lebih, maksudnya salah. So, this is, I think, uh, these are the two formula which is very new to you. So, you have to be, uh, you know, kena rajin sikit lah, kena buat uh, exercise banyak sikit untuk mahirkan menggunakan dua formula ini. Especially media dengan mode. Okay, uh, so you'll get full marks for answering this. Okay, I'm going to show you another example, alright? So, um, as usual, we'll have to find it, okay? We'll put the sales, um, rebuild the table, sales. This is lower boundary, we have upper boundary. And then we have the, what do we call, a midpoint frequency, cumulative frequency, midpoint multiplied by frequency. And this one should be the class size, okay? Right. But please f uh, write in full, uh, you know, write in full. I'm using, you know, uh, singkatan dekat sini lah. Okay, so kita isi dulu maklumat yang ada. 101 hingga 150. 151 hingga 200. 201 hingga 200 setengah. 251 hingga 300. 301 hingga 350. So, frequency is 34643. Okay. Uh, isilah mana-mana yang you suka dahulu kan Alright So in this case Okay Kalau you nak tengok Apa boundary 150 dengan 151 Antara tengah-tengah tu lah Mesti 150.5 Alright So 200 201 So tengah-tengah tu Mestilah 200.5 Okay Sama juga yang ni lah 250.5 300.5 350.5 So sebenarnya untuk lower boundary sama dekat sini Kalau yang ni turun dekat sini 300.5 Kalau yang ni turun dekat bawah 250.5 200.5 150.5 And that one should be 100.5 Okay To get the class size always Class size is given by the formula Upper boundary subtract with the lower boundary Kita tolak yang itu So 150.5 tolak 100.5 You dapat 50 so, in this case, more 50 class size you. 50, eh? Alright. So, now, midpoint. Midpoint, you boleh ambil 101 tambah 150. Okay. Lepas tu, you bahagi dengan 2. So, you dapat 176. Okay. 151 tambah 200, bahagi dengan 2. Ha, sekejap. 101 tambah 150 tadi, bahagi 2. Sorry, that one is not 176. Saya salah kira. 125.5. Okay. Next one, 151 tambah 200. Bagi dengan 2 175.5 This one 225.5 275.5 325.5 Now we, we, kita isi cumulative frequency 3 tambah 4 7 tambah 6 13 tambah 4 17 tambah 3 20 Next one Darab multiply Multiply midpoint with the frequency So 125.5 darab dengan 3 376.5 Okay next one 175.5 darab dengan 4 702 So next one 225.5 darab dengan 6 1353 Next one 275.5 darab dengan 4 1377.5 and 325.5 darab dengan 3 976.5 so total summation of F ok tambahlah 3 tambah 4 tambah 6 tambah 4 tambah 3 20 this one summation of 
fx sebenarnya okay. Summation of fx kita tambah lah 376.5 tambah 702 tambah 1353 tambah 1377.5 tambah 976.5 okay. So you dapat 4785.5 okay. So now we can find the mean, mode and median right. So the first one saya nak cari mean right. To find mean So the formula is given by summation of fx over summation of f So this one is given by this for 785.5 divided by summation of f is actually uh, 20 ok, kita bahagi dengan 20 so 4785.5 bahagi dengan 20 dia dapat 239.275 tulis lah, semua pun tak ada masalah lah ok, in this case alright, so now, number 2 ok, we want to find median so position of median dahulu to find position of median kita ambil terus summation of f which is 20 dibahagi dengan 2 kita dapat kedudukan 10 so kita tekan ke 10 macam mana nak cari ok hati-hati pergi dekat table tengok dekat cumulative frequency 3 belum sampai 10 7 belum sampai 10 13 dah sampai 10 tapi lebih oh, maksudnya dalam ini lah so we will highlight this uh, row ok kita highlight row ini ok now that one is your median class alright so now to find median alright so the median is given by the formula LM plus ok summation of F over 2 formula ni dibeda dalam exam jangan risau you just kena tahu macam mana nak guna saja. summation of F M minus 1 over F of M multiply dengan C so LM is the lower boundary of the median class is given by lower boundary is this one ok uh, 200 and 200.5 200.5 plus summation of F divided by 2 summation of F divided by 2 this one 20 divided by 2 20 divided by 2 minus summation of FM minus 1 which is cumulative frequency not of the median class but before it which is 7 so 7 right so 7 over frequency of median class which is given by 6 ok so over 6 multiplied by C C is the class size class size is given by 50 here right so multiply by 50 so we will have okay simplify the numerator first 20 over 2 so 3 over 6 right so we'll have 200.5 plus uh, 3 over 6 multiplied by 50 okay so you will get something like okay 225.5 that one is your median so to find the mode right so number three to find the mode you have to find the model class first so the model class is given by so the model class cari frekuensi paling banyak which is six kebetulan group yang sama so your model class which be this one 201 until 250 so to find the mode you have to use the formula L of mode plus delta 1 plus uh, over delta 1 plus delta 2 multiplied by C so find delta 1 and find delta 2 to find that look at your frequency so frequency is here frequency of the model class minus the one before it so 6 minus 4 for delta 2 frequency of model class subtract the one after it so 6 minus 4 also so in this case we'll get 2 this one will get 2 so, uh, lower, bound, uh, lower boundary of model class is actually, eh, sorry, is actually this one, 200.5, okay, 200.5 plus delta 1 is given by 2 over 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2, just given by these two, and multiply by C is the class size of the model class, is actually 50, so we'll have 50 here, so simplify the uh, denominator, alright, so we'll have 2 over 4 multiplied by 50, Alright, coincidentally, they will become 225.5. Kebetulan. Okay. So, pastikan uh, jawapan you mestilah berada dalam lingkungan ini. Ha, kan? Alright. So, mesti dalam lingkungan itu. Ini pun samalah. Okay. So, kebetulan lah jawapan dia sama dalam kes ini. Alright. Kebetulan sahaja. So, that's how you deal with group data. So, firstly, ingat buat table baru and then find this. Kamu buat semua dekat table ini baru dapat full marks nanti. Alright. Thank you for watching.